Hello, my viewers and fellow Team Silvermore. Today, we're going to have another discussion on serious topics, particularly um, suicide and death. So, uh, first off, I'd, I'd like to say that having thoughts about suicide is not necessarily abnormal. People think about it quite frequently, believe it or not, and people that you think would be nothing but happy do have it cross their minds. For me, it was a coping mechanism to know that I had the power to escape whatever was troubling me at the time. I'd never actually do it, but something deep down made me feel better when I thought that I had power over what was going on. And ultimately, you do have power over your life because no one can change your life for you. Only you can change your life. I do feel like I should say, as in, I, well, as in my last video, that I'm not a trained professional, or a doctor, or a psychologist, or a psychiatrist. And everything I discuss here is my opinion, and not that of a professional. And that if you need help, you should always seek a trained medical professional's opinion. But. I'm just hoping that sharing my experiences with you can help. So, death isn't necessarily something that people enjoy talking about, and different people deal with it in different ways. I'm lucky to say that I've never had a close family member die. I've had friends die. Um, Natural causes, of course, you know, uh, heart issues, things like that. But I've never tried to commit suicide. Sure, I've thought about it. People think about it. But I've had people close to me attempt suicide. Of course, in all of these, I'm never going to actually say the person's name or, uh, or hints on my relationship with them, because that just wouldn't be right, but let's just say that I've had someone close to me attempt suicide, and I remember not knowing anything that was happening in her life as far as what was trouble. She'd had issues with boys in the past, just not necessarily that she had a bad run, but she just didn't choose the best guys to be in her life sometimes, and sometimes that's not necessarily their fault, but sometimes you know what kind of person you're getting into, and you shouldn't. The people in your life sculpt the type of life you have, so it's really important to only surround yourself with people that express and live, and whose actions reflect the type of life you want. You should never surround yourself by with druggies or thieves or liars, or people who talk down to you. Well, one night, this girl very close to me came by and she had taken a lot of pills, probably just ibuprofen or something, but that can still mess you up. I remember her sobbing uncontrollably over a very large pot after I, well, after we, there was more than just me there. Uh, had given her Ipecac, which, for those of you who aren't familiar, Ipecac is a bottled liquid from a plant that makes you throw up. It's, uh, it's often given to people that swallow something they shouldn't, like uh, poisons, pills, things like that. And I remember her sobbing uncontrollably while throwing up into this pot and all she could manage to say was how sorry she was. I can imagine that day, that 
night going completely different if she hadn't come to us. If she had, but it was too late. If she just died. It would have changed everyone's. I'm sorry. Thinking about it makes me a little teary. It would have changed everyone's lives, not just hers. When... When you make a decision to hurt yourself or to end your own life, it's not just your life that you're affecting. It's everyone who you've ever come in contact with. All your loved ones, all your friends. They're going to wonder if they could have saved you. And it'll haunt them. Someone close to me lost a sibling. And it wasn't suicide. But... It was sudden. And it was unexpected. And it changed him. I'm sorry. Despite what he'll admit, it changed him a lot. And it hurts to see that in someone. He doesn't blame himself, but what it's like to lose someone who you've known all your life, who you've loved unconditionally and shared so many moments with, it changes a person. He's not who he used to be. And, uh, it really hurts seeing someone like that. They change a lot more than you'd think they do. They develop quirks about their personality and just, they're never the same again. I often think about this, and how that affects someone. Can you imagine what it would have been like if this channel didn't exist because I had ceased to exist? I, uh, I can't imagine what it would do to my family. I have three sisters who are all amazing, and a mother who loves me dearly, and a father who loves me as well, and you guys. When I was in high school, because of the way my life was going, I didn't expect to graduate. I didn't expect to live long enough to graduate. I knew the statistics of teenagers dying, and I knew what I was facing as far as depression and suicidal thoughts, and I thought I would have killed myself before I turned 18. It crossed my mind a lot. It would have ruined my family. When you do that to yourself, it's not just yourself you're affecting, it's everyone who loves you. 
I can't imagine what my friend would have been like if his brother killed himself instead of dying from an accident. I know another person who lost her son to an accident. She's never been the same either. Death is a hard thing to face. Our own mortality is constantly there haunting us. When we see our loved ones go. And I'd like to think that you're a kind enough person to not do that to your loved ones. There are other ways. It's normal to have these thoughts, but don't act on them, please. No more people should be hurt. We can find you help. There are so many people out there that want to help. I want to help. We can find you a 1-800 number to help with you or a program. Even if you don't feel like you can talk to your loved ones, you can find someone to help you. Someone you might not even know. Please. I really hope this is reaching everyone who needs to hear it. Don't do it. There are other ways. You can find a purpose. You can get out of whatever's troubling you. It just will take some time and some effort, but you have to help yourself to let others help you. If you have any questions or need some resources, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, uh, I apologize for crying. It's a very, uh, serious subject, so. Thank you for joining me, and, uh, we'll cover, uh, self-harm in the next topic, so. See you then. Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. It means a lot to me. If you like what you see, why not like or comment? Or if you really want to stay up to date on my videos, you can hit the subscribe button, which should be right under this video. I believe it should be right about there. So, thank you again for joining me, and I really appreciate it.